uh, we are looking at speed time graph and we have two questions uh, to solve now how do you get to know if the question is a speed time graph when you look at your y-axis you'd realize it's written kilometer per hour so when you see kilometer per hour it stands as the unit of speed hence it shows that we are dealing with the speed graph now a we need to find acceleration acceleration is the rate of speed change now if you look at our graph the rate of change of speed is constant so in order to get our rate of speed change we can see here at the starting point it's zero and at the end point it's 20. so when we apply our formula that is v is equal to u plus a t u stands for the starting speed v stands for the finishing speed and t stands for the time so our final speed is 28 and our starting is zero plus the time is two so that is 2a hence you realize we have 28 is equal to 2a when you divide by two on both sides we shall get 14 and our acceleration will be 14 kilometer per hour squared b find deceleration deceleration is going down our starting position is 28 and our finishing position is zero so using our same formula 80 starting is 28 but finishing is zero but what is the time spent during decelerating that is four to seven and seven minus four gives us three hours now 28 will shift and we shall get negative 28 is equal to 3 a we shall divide by 3 both sides and we shall get 9 remainder 1 and our answer will be 9 1 over 3 kilometer per hour squared remember here we are finding a and a stands for acceleration and we got our answer as negative but because we are finding acceleration here and we got our answer negative but in the question we were asked to find the deceleration remember negative acceleration represents deceleration so because our question has already stated find the deceleration so we shall just take the value and keep the positive sign total distance in the speed time graph total distance is always given by the area represented under the given graph when you look clearly at our graph our graph is in the nature of a trapezium therefore if we use the normal mensuration approach we shall find the area of the trapezium hence it will represent our distance covered and half a b h is the area of trapezium a stands for two distance b from zero to seven so that means two plus seven and h is the height which is 28 times a half so that means a half times nine times 28 so this will give us by this is one by this 14 meaning nine times 14 giving us 126 but because our unit is hours and kilometer per hour so distance will be in kilometers find the average speed remember to find the average speed that is total distance divided by the total time taken we have already got our total distance just above there but what's the total time total time is from the start of the journey till the end of the journey and that is seven when we divide the two we shall end up with 18 kilometer per hour 
Now let's look at our second example. Here we have another speed time graph that is in meters per second and given in seconds. But when you look at our graph, we have got our acceleration, constant speed, and another acceleration. But remember, this acceleration is more steep than this acceleration. This means here, the acceleration was higher than at this position. Now, we are supposed to find acceleration. Find acceleration at time 0.5. Remember, 0.5 is somewhere here. Now, because all this is constant acceleration, we shall ignore this position and we take the whole line because the whole line has the same acceleration. Remember, our formula is V plus U. V is equal to U plus AT. So here, we shall start at zero and we shall end at 30, meaning our end point is 30, our starting point is zero, but the total time for this whole acceleration is one. So it will be zero plus one AT. Remember, zero plus one is one. So our 30 is automatically the acceleration. So our acceleration will be 30 meter per second square. Find acceleration at time three. When you check closer, time three will be between one and five. If time three is between one and five, at that same position, the movement is at constant speed. There is no accelerating. And if there is no accelerating, it's automatically acceleration zero. So we shall not waste our time. Here is constant speed. Remember, here accelerating and there accelerating. Here is constant speed. Hence, our acceleration there will be zero. Find acceleration when time is seven. Time is seven is between five and ten. So if it's between five and 10, meaning we need to find the acceleration of here. We start at this point, which is 30. We end at that point, which is 50. Meaning our ending point is 50. Our starting point is 30. Our time taken is from five to 10. If five to 10, that means five hours. So this will be 50 minus 30, giving us five A. 20 is equal to 5a. Therefore, 20 divided by 5. And our acceleration will be 4 meter per second square. Finally, we have to find the average speed. Remember, average speed is the total distance divided by total time. As per moment, we don't know what is our total distance. Therefore, we have to start by finding the total distance. And remember we said, total distance will be all the area under the graph. So if you check closely, from here till here, we have trapezium. And from there till there, we have another trapezium. This means I have to find area of this trapezium. Then I find L of that trapezium. When I add the two, I have got my total distance. Now, if you check closely, from one to five means this part here will be four, and this down will be five, because from zero to five, our height will be 30, meaning I have A and I have B and I have my height. So how will I get the answer? Using the trapezium formula like the one we used above there. So I will take half bracket 4 plus 5 and 30. So I will have a half times 4 plus that's 9 times 30 by 2, 1 by 2, 15. 9 times 15 will give me 130. That is the area for the first trapezium. Look at the second trapezium. From here to here is 30. From up till down is 50, as you can see there, up till down. If this is 30 and this is 50, means our A is 30, our B is 50. What is our height from five to 10 means our height is five. So again, we shall apply the same approach. A and B now is 30 and 50, so 30 plus 50. And our height will be five. 
So a half times 80 times 5. By 2, 1, by 2, 40. Meaning 40 times 5, it will give me 200. Therefore, if I add the 2, I will get my total distance that is 330. Having got my total distance, now I have to use total distance divided by total time. My total distance is 330. My total time will be 0 to 10, giving me 10. So 0 will cancel and my average speed will now be 33 meters per second. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.